my adult turkey vulture there. <clears throat> It'll likely be the one we put the backpack transmitter on. We're trapping vultures in a live trap and um, strain them by hand. Then we take blood samples and other biological data and uh, tag them either using GPS uh, harnesses or wing tags. Not gonna hurt. It's just the sound of the fires that makes it sound scary. We release them on site and then we're gonna use the data that we get from their movements to uh, best manage the vulture population in the area uh, to keep the Air Force safe while they're flying. We're using a, uh, a 70 to 45 gram transmitter. We have a couple different ones, satellite based ones, which talk to a satellite and then send our data in to us uh, wherever we are in the world. It's designed not to have any or have a minimal effect on them. If anybody, whether it be in the Air Force or in the public or anywhere, happens to come across or see one of these birds, um, if they can get the ID and try to remember where it was or at least find a good crossroads or some other location information and we appreciate receiving that information because that does go into our database and because we put out more tags because they're cheap than we do transmitters sometimes that information can really provide a lot more help to what's going on with the birds. Um, our goal is always to, to provide the best management or tools or techniques uh, to not only do the work that we need to manage conflicts with wildlife and, and people or agriculture, but also make sure that we're doing it in a, in a responsible manner with the wildlife. And, and I, as a, a biologist for 22 years, really enjoy working with uh, my agency and, and all the different activities that I get to do, not just with vultures, but with other species as well.